Hello everybody out there in the music community. This is Mike, your Soldier 777. I'm here to show you a uh, what's spinning video of a few albums I've been listened to since my last video. Uh, but first I want to add that um, a while back there, I showed an intro uh, I want to put in front of my videos going forward uh, on YouTube. Uh, that was put together by a friend of mine, an uh, online friend. Um, I've been trying to add this intro to the beginning of each video but for some reason it's not working. So if any of you can probably give me some help with that, uh, to put that intro in front of my video, I can give you the rights uh, to my channel or give you the uh, password if you wanna go in and try to do it or show me how to do it. Or maybe we can have a video conference to talk about this um, or something like that. So anyway, let me know um, if you wanna do this to my subscribers be great. I want to make my videos more, a uh, bit more professional by putting that intro in front there. Uh, it's, it's a really nice little intro. Anyway, so let's get right to what's spinning. So these are going to comprise mostly two, uh, of two bands. Uh, and I was late to the party of getting into these bands. So let's get right to it. Here you have a band called Mass. And I ordered these um, through, I believe, two sources. Uh, but here's one of them, Mass. Um, uh, fighter, which really came in 1982, and due to uh, trouble with the label, it was shelved, and uh, this has been reissued a couple times. Late, and this is the latest reissue by uh, No Like the Metal, which is Scott Waters' label, and you can get that uh, get the CD on RocksRecords.com and click on No Like the Metal, and it's right there if you order the uh, the Mass albums, this and other albums. So here we have um, 10 songs plus some bonus, bonus uh, songs and demo type, type material. And, and the songs that stand out to me on this one is Watch Your Walk and uh, Do You Love Me. Those are, uh, those are pretty good tunes. So Mass Fighter, which came out in 1982, uh, reached out in 2019 on the Scott Waters and like metal label. Next up we have Mass, 84 Unchained. Uh, this is the album the band self-produced independently on, on their own. It was an EP. Uh, this is a retroactive re re uh, records reissue, uh, which came out in 2010. Originally came out in 1984. And on this version, they labeled it uh, 84 Unchained. Only the original album had a, had a sub had a title, but they call this one 84 Unchained. Um, um, some good tunes on this one is um, Holy One, and uh, I believe Looking Good is a good tune as well. So there you have it, Mass, 84 and Chain. Uh, Reached Commit 1984, reissued on 2010 on Retroactive Records. And that's, um, and that's um, uh, Matt Hunt's label, Boone's Overstock. But I ordered this one from Gerber Music. Here we have Mass, uh, Rebirth, um, or New Birth, sorry, New Birth. This really came out in 1985 under RC Records. I do know. I think at that time, uh, actually, I do know at that time from the from the information inside this CD uh, that uh, General Electric bought RC Records. Had General Electric bought a lot of other companies, and went through some, some kind of management change. Um, so anyway, this only the, the RC record label at the time, uh, but it was reissued by Retroactive Records in 2011. Uh, Mass uh, New Birth, and uh, the song that's to me on this one is New Birth, and um, they got a, a re revamped version of Do You Love Me uh, on this one. Uh, Watch Your Walk is also on this one as well. So, uh, yes, pretty good, a, a pretty good, some, some pretty good signs on this one. Uh, Mass New Birth. Here we have another one called Mass Take You Home, which is an EP. Originally came out in 1988 on a Medusa label, which is an imprint of Enigma Records. Uh, and this was reissued on the uh, Retroactive Records in 2012 and it has a bonus track Under the Gun, which is a really good tune. I like that, I like that song, um, which is not center track for me on this one. It got Pedal to the Metal, uh, another great tune. Um, what else? Holy One's on there, uh, sort of a re recorded version of that one. So, yeah, a lot of good tunes on this one. Mass, uh, Take You Home. Uh, originally released in 1980 on, on uh, Medusa record label, which is a subsidiary of, of Nimmer Records, I believe. Next one is their more popular one. Now, I first heard of Mass back in 1989 when I read a small blurb in Heaven's Metal magazine 
uh, which says that uh, Michael Sweet will be producing the next Mass album, um, and Oz Fox will be producing the next Guardian album. Uh, I think they named the title. Um, the Mass one was uh, Voice in the Night, and uh, the, the Guardian one, of course, was First Watch. Now, as you may know, Mass is not a Christian band, but they also need the Enigma Records label along with bands like XYZ, uh, Hurricane, and uh, Striper, Guardian, Baron Cross. So this next one was was, was a re underneath that label, uh, uh, Nimba Records, called Voice in the Night. And it's a really good album, uh, I must say. It's probably more, more, one of the more popular ones. Uh, but uh, the ones I like, the set, set of me that I remember, is Nine Tonight, uh, Reach for the Sky, and they got this bonus track on this Retroactive Records reissue called Stevie. Really good, really good song. Uh, I was quite impressed by the, by the song. But yeah. Great, great, great album. If you if you don't get a chance to, uh, if you haven't checked this album, I definitely recommend you check this album out. If you wanna, if you wanna get a feel for this song, music back in the day, check out this album. Okay, and this one's uh, this next one coming up here is uh, is a comeback album, uh, which was released in two thousand seven and reissued in 20, uh, 2020. I mean, the Metal Records, uh, Scott Waters label. This is Crack of Dawn. Uh, this is a comeback album. Uh, after about 17 years of, uh, of silence, for the most part, uh, they came back with this one. And this is also got a lot of good, lot of good songs. Uh, it Choose a great tune, Hello, and uh, what are ones? Uh, um, what else? Hello. Empty Soul, Things Good, Someday. So some good tunes in this one. Um, this is a mass crack of dawn, Rizzy Commit in 2007. Reissued under uh, Retroactive Records, uh, sorry, New Life Metal Records in 2020 was a Scott Waters label. There you have it. This is a follow up to uh, Crack of Dawn. This is Mass uh, Sea of Black. Another great, great, another great album. Um, released under uh, New Life Metal again, Scott Waters label in 2020. Uh, Reissued Commit 2010. A lot of great tunes in this one. I think the first five songs is bang, bang, bang. Great songs from Falling from Grace, Right Side, All Years, All Years Gone, Through the Rain, Coming Home. Uh, great, like five great songs back to back. And the last one, See of Black, is also a good tune as well. It's hard to say which one of these are like the, like the most uh, between See of Black and Crack of Dawn. I think they're both equal in my opinion. But like I said, got some good tunes in each one of these albums. So there you have it. Also, I have a autographed. Uh, Christmas EP from Mass called Hold On To Christmas which consists of, uh, of, of cover tunes uh, and um, I think it's got one original tune yeah one original tune called Jingle Bell Rock which is what the no actually I'm wrong I'm trying to find out which one to buy oh Hold On To Christmas is the, is the original tune and the other three Where Are You Christmas Grown Up Chrysalis and Jingle Bell Rock is, is, is Christmas Standards from years gone by there you have it uh, Mass One of the Christmas, uh, coming in 2015, uh, which is an independent release by the band. Next one I have is a band uh, that is a mix of, to me, in my opinion, thrash, uh, 70s hard rock, and a bit of the 80s, and blues based hard rock. It's got a mix of, mix of each of these styles, in my opinion. Here we have Die Happy. Uh, the self-titled album came in 1992, uh, reissued on Rocks Records in 2020. Um, this was basically Vengeance Rising without Roger, uh, Roger Martinez, with Robin Cobb Bissari on lead vocals. Got all the same band members, and here's the, here, this is, and kind of cool this one, this is a gold disc edition, and this is the um, artwork that band really wanted to use, which they didn't, which I kind of, I kind of like better, but instead they had to use this one for the record label. Uh, but all of the members from uh, Vengeance is on this one. Um, Larry Farkas, Doug Thien, uh, Roger Dale Martin, and Glenn Manchuro. Uh, M Mana Crusoe, I believe is how to pronounce his name, is uh, Gods and Vengeance Rising. But uh, Robin Carl Bazzari is uh, the lead singer. And, as, and you all know him from uh, Joshua. He sang a couple songs off of Surrender, the reissued version, or re recorded version in 1992. And also Rock Power Praise, uh, volume, Volumes uh, 2, The Christmas Hymns. And I believe he did some work with P.K. Mitchell as well, if not mistaken. 
Um, but anyway, great singer. I love his vocals. He also sang uh, Red Sea Blood. I also have that album as well. Uh, great, great singer. He's one, he's one of the most underrated singers on the planet, for, in my opinion. Uh, there you have Die Happy, um, different self titled album. Um, I believe, now most of the album's pretty good. I was quite surprised by it. I held off and bought this back in the day. Uh, but most of the album's pretty good, I must say. Uh, Die Happy is pretty interesting song, but storyline behind that. Uh, Perpetual Motion, I think, probably my favorite song on the album. Uh, Cage is about, you know, being addicted to things that are good for your health. Uh, I believe, if you're not mistaken, let me look at lyrics. I went through the album once, I'm trying to remember everything on, that, that, I'm trying to remember everything on the album. Uh, yeah, Cage is about uh, being addicted, addicted to different things uh, that's not good for you. Uh, things uh, like, like alcohol. Uh, yeah, Bone Doctor is a great story about the guy visiting, uh, visiting a, a, a chiropractic specialist. Kind of interesting take on that story. But yeah, a lot of great tunes in this one. Uh, I highly recommend you picking it up from Rocks Records or wherever it's available. Uh, die Happy. Anyway, folks, that's all I have right now. That's my uh, What's Spinning episode. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I, I have a package arrived in the mail recently. I'm going to be showing that in a future video. And uh, I have a few more on the way. A couple more on the way, actually, uh, as well from different, uh, different suppliers. You guys all have a great day and all the best. Bye now.